Today, I am going to teach you a short poem. And the name of the poem is Ice Cream Man. And it was written by Rachel Field. The following are the specific objectives of teaching the poem Ice Cream Man. To read and take pleasure in the poem for its rhyming words. To appreciate language. Listen to the music of the poem, the stress, pause, and intonation. To widen listening and speaking skills all the way through reading and repetition. To give opportunity to children to articulate themselves in various ways like role play. To facilitate language learning through objects familiar to the children. Major concepts. The main idea of the poem is about the ice cream man and things he sells. Let me begin my discussion with some introductory question. What is cold, sweet and creamy and wonderful to eat? Surely, everyone's favorite treat especially on a hot summer day is an ice cream. Everyone's favorite person must be the ice cream man. Am I right, my dear children? So today, I am going to teach you the poem Ice Cream Man. And it was written by Rachel Phil. Now let me recite the poem once. When summer's in the city and bricks are blaze of heat, the ice cream man with his little cart goes struggling down the street. Beneath his round umbrella, oh, what a joyful sight to see him fill the cone sweet mounds of cooling brown and white. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or chilly things to drink from bottles full of frosty feet, green, orange, white, or pink. His cut might be a flower bed of roses and sweet feet, the way the children cluster round as thick as honeybee. Now, let me tell you the main idea of the poem. The poet here describes children's love for ice cream in summers. The ice cream man visits their streets on hot summer days with a round umbrella over his cup. He brings ice cream in different flavors. He fills the cones with creamy and cold ice cream. He also sells fees colorful drinks. His cart is just like a flower bed and children gather around it like honeybees. Now let me discuss the first two stanzas of the poem, Ice Cream Man. In the first stanza, the poet says that in summer season, Ice Cream Man comes with his little cart and his cart moves on small broad wheels. And hence, the poet says, when summer's in the city and bricks a blaze of heat, the Ice Cream Man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. In the last line of the first stanza, the poet has used a difficult word and that is trundling down. It means moving on small broad wheels. Is that clear to you my dear children? I think we have got a clear idea about the first stanza. In the second stanza, the poet states that the little cart of the ice cream man has a shade of an umbrella to protect the ice cream from blazing sunlight. And at the sight of the little cart, the children become very happy. The ice cream man fills the cones with heap of cooling brown and white ice cream. And hence, the poet says, beneath his round umbrella, oh, what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white. In the third line of the second stanza, the poet has used a word, mounds. It means heap or piles. Am I clear to you, my dear students? So students, here are certain activities for you. Please go through the activities.
complete the assignments given here. With this, we have come to the end of today's lecture. I shall teach you the next two stanzas of the poem in the next part of my video. Thank you.